No, we've got the Indian captain, Kale Rahul. Kale, thanks for coming to have a chat. Uh, a, an, an interesting game where at times you had control and at times South Africa wrestled it back. Um, yeah, it was a it's a nice game actually. I mean, we love playing games like this. Obviously, uh, there's so much to learn. Um, I think we started off really well and um, we couldn't really get wickets in the middle, which has been quite a problem uh, earlier as well. So yeah, we'll, we'll look to see how we can get wickets in the middle and stop the opposition. And uh, obviously, the middle order um, you know couldn't get going we got a really good start I think we were on par for uh, the first 20 25 overs of the game uh, we could I thought we would, we would chase it down quite easily but uh, the uh, South Africans did well they bowled really well got the crucial wickets in the middle it seemed the pitch changed character a bit um, almost as if after about 20 overs it it flattened out and was a bit easy to bat on uh, look I didn't bat after the 20th over so I I, I don't know if it really changed drastically but um, uh, speaking to Virat and uh, Shikhar, uh, they said it was a good wicket to bat on. Um, uh, yeah, you just had to spend a little, little time in the middle and once you got set, the runs were easy to come by. But uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get those partnerships going in the middle. Well, they played very well, the uh, Timber and uh, Rassi, didn't they? Yeah, they did. I mean, uh, uh, you know, when two people from the opposition get hundreds and uh, bat so deep, uh, more often than not, they're going to end up getting close to 300, which is what they did, which is what was uh, required uh, from them. And they did that really well. Um, we needed someone like that in the middle to play, uh, play an innings uh, uh, like that and take the team deep. Uh, and probably we would have gotten close to um, chasing chasing that total. Yeah, we felt 270 was about par, 260. 270 but you must have thought the chase was on yeah I mean uh, the the talk in the change room after the 50 overs was that you know we might have probably given 15 or 20 runs extra but uh, obviously like I said if you have two set batters uh, uh, who've gone on to play uh, till 45 46 over it's always going to be difficult to stop them and uh, they did really well they continued to keep pressure on the bowlers and yeah again uh, we couldn't get get those wickets in the middle so it was it w you know we were going to give anywhere close to 300 but 290 plus was uh, yeah 20 runs extra but I think like I said we were we were on course to chase it we just needed a few more partnerships in the middle uh, just a last thought before we go uh, these matches aren't part of the World Cup Super League but they're still valuable aren't, aren't they in, in, in terms of learning about players and patterns of play of course it is every game is important for us every game that you play for your country is uh, uh, you know something that we all uh, take a lot of pride in we all want to go out there and give uh, give our best performances and try and win the game for our country uh, and like you said it's, it's a great learning for all of us we haven't played one day cricket in a, in a while so uh, obviously we have we have the World Cup in mind and we want to uh, you know get the best 11 on the park and get get our team going and see what 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 is the best we can do um, leading into the World Cup and uh, yeah we will make mistakes but we'll learn from them and get better all right Kale thank you very much for your time thank you cheers Timber, well done. That was, a, uh, in the end, a very professional performance. Thank you, Mark. Um, yeah, I think we probably, for us, we played close to a perfect game. You know, that's generally quite hard to do in 50-over cricket. Um, but, yeah, I think we can take a lot of confidence from our effort out there. There were two points at, at, at which you... You know, you recovered yourselves, and one was the, the the building partnership between you and Rassi. Let's talk about that first. Did the pitch improve a little while you were at the wicket? Uh, not for me, really. Um, I think for me, throughout my innings, I struggled to consistently hit the ball out the middle, hit the ball in the gaps. Um, Rassi, on the other end, seemed like he was betting on another wicket. You know, and the energy and intensity that he brought in really gave our innings impetus. And I think that partnership was probably the decider. Um, and I think better with him there my focus was to try um, partner him as much as I can um, from a support point of view from a mental point of view um, give him the energy that he needed um, but yeah I think that partnership was probably quite key for us from a batting point of view well you're a modest captain we thought you played pretty well too um, let's turn to the bowlers because it although I think that score was above par you've still got to defend it and there's no doubt that throughout this summer we've seen great maturity from Marco Janssen very good debut for him yeah another good debut from, from Plank Plank as we affectionately know him um, obviously him coming with the new ball someone who we feel that can take wickets up front and then within the middle as well as the death option um, he's obviously growing from strength to strength on a cricketer and it's um, very nice to see 
Did you give Aidan Markham the new rule because you spent some time out there batting and thought that was harder to force early on? Yeah, look, I mean, Aidan is always an option with us with the ball. I think especially with the new ball where he does get one to spin, one, one to skid on, um, he's always an option. Um, I think obviously with us looking at our bowling lineup, we don't really have um, a six. Um, specialist bowling um, option so you always kind of under pressure to, to get a couple of overs but I mean Aiden's been doing that job um, fantastically so far Great to see Andile come in with, with you know, such effect uh, changes of pace we know his ability to cut the ball but he was a real difference maker wasn't he? Yeah Andy was also good um, obviously he would have loved to play a bigger part within the game but I think he understood the situation um, him, coming in, him coming in with the ball um, um, where the wicket was getting really slow, um, going um, up and down a bit. He knew what he needed to do. I um, mean, it's pleasing to see Andy um, putting those type of performances. He's obviously a big player within the team. You know, he's a guy that has a lot of experience, having played a lot of one-day games. Um, so it's good to see him take charge in that situation. And a last word for your spinners. Spinners, spinners have been great. Um, Keshav... Aiden, I'll throw him there as well. Um, and obviously Shamsi. Um, Shamsi, we're trying to use him a bit differently, using him as an option as the death. And at the moment, he's doing that job very well. Um, but yeah, the spinners have been, have been good. Okay. Uh, actually, this will be the last word. Nice to have Quinny back. Brilliant stumping. Yeah, nice to have Quinny back. Nice to see him smile and laughing there in the changing room. Um, he's like, like I've always said, he's a big player for me. Um, he's a big player for the team. And his energy, his leadership, his experience, um, it helps us a lot. Great. Well done. Um, congratulations on a terrific performance. Thank you. Thank you.